Hey guys, what's up? Right now in this video, I'm going to remove the accessory case on this Lycoming 0320 B2A. That's the Brava 2 Alpha model here. But basically, I'm tearing this down because this engine at this point is a core and he's completely gone through. They went ahead and did the AD on it during last attempt during annual inspection. They put it back together because they found some issues with some rust on the cam lobe. So um, we're going to take this thing down to just bare pieces, split the case. Eventually that's going to be another video. But right now we're going to talk about, and I want to show you close up, removing all the bolts, what's involved, taking the accessory case off. And then also I want to show just some really close views of the inside once we get it opened up. So let's get to it right now. Also, all four of these jugs on here that have been off, the pistons have been removed. They were just kind of stuck back on. So when I take these off, you're gonna see just a, a piston rod wrapped in like a rag. So that's what that's all about. Then we're gonna take the sump off down here at the bottom. Then we'll pop the accessory case off. So let's get to it.
Okay, so I have a couple bolts on each side here that I used to catch it. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull these off and then lower down. Again, this is something that's been off, so I think it came off fairly easy here with just some taps on the front, the overhang. Nuts here on the back, the studs that go in the accessory case. I'm gonna take these nuts off. Just kind of lower this down. Cause there's not much clearance there between the cross tubes here. So you have to kind of bring it down the stud as you work the nut off here. Okay, it just came off. Okay. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to watch that coil screen down there, pickup screen. I'm just going to let that sit there and go ahead and bring up the engine hoist to clear screen. Then I'll get the stump out of the way there. So we'll set this off to the side and we'll get another close up look at this here in a second. Here's the coupling for the oil pump right here. Looks like it's got a little wear there on that. some pretty big wear there on that pin.
Okay, so I'm not sure if this camshaft is good because that was a big issue with this engine. There being rust on the lobes. I'm not sure how bad it is, but we'll find out.